How'd you like to get better audio for your digital SLR camera? I mean better than the standard inboard microphone that comes with the camera. I'm talking about some really inexpensive extras you can plug into your camera to get really good audio. Come on, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is some sort of a microphone. I'm using both the Shure MVL lav mic and the Gora lavalier mic. The Gora lavalier mic is a lot less expensive and it still sounds great. Next you're going to need this adapter cable. It changes an 8th inch female to an 8th inch male TRS stereo connection. Then you're going to need an extension cable so you can run your lavalier with the adapter all the way to the camera. So first what you do is you take the plug from your lavalier mic, you plug it into the adapter cable like this. Then you take the red end of the adapter cable and you plug it into the extension cable like this. Then you take the other end of the extension cable and plug it into your DSLR uh, camera right where it's got the connection on the side. And that's what it looks like. Okay, now that you've got all this stuff plugged together, you're not quite done yet. Now you've got to set up your camera, and let me show you what the settings are. Okay, now that you have your microphone plugged into the side of your digital SLR, let me show you how to set it up so you get good audio. You want to press the menu button right here. Once you're in there, see how it says sound recording? You press the set button with your thumb. Uh, now see how it's on manual, sometimes that will be set to auto when you get in there so you want to make sure you set that to manual and then select it. Go down to the recording level um, and select that. Now if you'll notice you can move that recording level up and down and up and down. But see as I do that the yellow bars go up and now it's hitting red. That means that you're, you're, you're giving it too much volume and you want to bring that down so you move, if you, as you move this, that little dot on top of the record level line moves up or down. You want to bring it so that as you're talking, you don't maximize more than, that little 12 means it, it's minus 12 dB. So you don't want to have your voice go any louder than minus 12 dB. That gives you a pad between 12 and 0. So say you had to yell or say you had to raise your voice. Now if you look right now, my voice is going much more than 12 dB. So once you're right there, you're going to hit the set button. If you don't hit the set button, it's going to go back to where it was. Hit the set button. Now you've got your manual recording level all set so that you can use your lavalier mic or whatever other mic you have plugged into it and it won't peak anymore. Okay, now that we've got everything set up, I'm going to show you the difference between the inboard microphone or the microphone that's inside the camera as opposed to using your lavalier mic or some other mic plugged into your camera itself. So this is what the inboard or the onboard microphone sounds like. Testing one two three, testing one two three, mic check, mic check. This is the onboard microphone of the Canon 60D that I'm using right now. So now let's plug in the lavalier mic and see how that sounds. Okay, this is the sound of my um, Shure MVL lavalier microphone as I've got it plugged into the Canon 60D. So this is the Shure MVL lavalier microphone. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Mic check one, two. Mic check one, two. So I think it's a lot better sound than, it was, than the uh, onboard microphone of the Canon 60D. So you be the judge. Let's plug in one more mic. Um, let's do the Gora Lav mic that's only about $20 US uh, from Amazon. So let's uh, check that out now. Okay, I'm now using the Gora Lav mic plugged into the Canon 60D. This microphone's a little bit hotter. 
So I had to return the recording level down just a little bit because it was peaking right when I plugged it in. So again, this is the sound of the Gora lav mic. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Mic check, one, two. Mic check, one, two. Again, this is the sound of the Gora lav mic plugged into the Canon 60D. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll let you be the judge as to which one you liked better and how you liked it. But uh, I enjoyed putting this together. Have a good day. Well, when editing this video, I realized that I forgot a couple things. I forgot some stuff in my conclusion that I kind of wanted to tell you about. First off, um, the two microphones that I used are supposed to be used in smartphones. That's why they've got this funny little four-ringed four -ringed tip in it. Um, it's supposed to be made to go into a smartphone. So I didn't know if the Canon 60D or a digital SLR would be able to power them because they rely on power from a smartphone. So that's how I got started in this whole thing. So anyway, it does, which you have found out in watching this video. It does power them and that's, that's awesome. So that means you can get a cheaper lav mic like the Gora. You can use an extension cable with an adapter and you can plug it in and have good sound without having to have an expensive wireless microphone. Um, of these two mics, I really like this Shure MVL microphone. It's, I think it sounds crisper. I think it sounds brighter. It's just a little bit better microphone. Plus, it's also $69 as compared to $20 for the Gora mic. Um, so anyway, I'll have all the information from this video below in the notes below so you'll know about the adapter, about the extension cord that I use to plug into the Canon SLR, digital SLR, and of course to both microphones. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful and uh, thanks again for watching.